What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a few NG models that I got back from their recent releases way back in early 2022. Without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, as you guys may have saw on the shipping label, I did get this from Diecast Airplane Store. And inside the nicely packaged bubble wrap here, we have our three models. So I'll go throw the box over there. And yeah, as you guys can see, here are the three models. It is a, the three models are the cargo jet Boeing 757-200, North Atlantic 787-9 Dreamliner, which actually just started service to JFK a few days ago. And of course, here we have a United Star Alliance 777 200. So yeah, I think we'll start with the smallest model. Uh, we'll start with the Cargo Jet 757-200. So first we'll take a look at all of the boxes and then we'll unbox the models and do the detail segment or whatever. So taking a look at the Cargo Jet box, it says Boeing 757-200. We have this uh, very Canadian themed design. We have the Canadian maple leaf, a globe, which I'm, which I'm guessing is supposed to represent logistics. Uh, we have the clip out of the aircraft and as you guys can see, it is with winglets. And then here we have cargo jet registration, which is Charlie Gulf Victor Alpha Juliet. And then on the side of the box, it's white compared to black. So it's obviously a gradient and you love doing this with their boxes where you have this sort of gradient. And um, on the side, it's just the standard NG models. You have the clip out of the aircraft, the type, uh, type of aircraft, NG logo. And on the side, you just have the logo. Uh, and here are the sides. And then here is the back of the box so yeah it's pretty much just textbook ng models but with a different design but i really do enjoy this gradient thing that uh ng does with their boxes so put the cargo jet over to the side and let's take a look at the norse atlantic so this is i think ng ran out of ideas for this it is a very nicely designed box uh but it's pretty much just norse atlantic's logo but just like plaster all over a box uh here it's uh, a bit hard to see, but it spelled out the word Norse, which is supposed to be like obviously the name of the airline, Norse Atlantic Airways. And then so we have 77-9 Dreamliner, the clip out of the aircraft. And then we have this um, Norse Atlantic logo. This is supposed to represent this sort of swirly A. And at the top, you have this loop. Down here, it says Norse Atlantic with the registration, Lima November, Lima November Oscar. Here we have the NG models logo. And on the side, it's standard textbook NG models on all of these sides. And then on the back, uh, we just have the clip out of the aircraft as well as the same design on the front, uh, except it's carried on to the back. And now let's get on to the biggest model and pretty much the best one of this unboxing. We have, uh, this is my first NG Models 777-200 or 777-mold, should I say. This is the NG Models United 777-200 in their Star Alliance delivery. It's a very Star Alliance United themed model, obviously, uh, as well as a box, because here we have the words Boeing 777-200, the clip out of the aircraft, and then centered behind the aircraft, we have the Star Alliance logo, as well as this United logo, which normally, if this was a normal livery model, it would be in just United's Continental Globe colors, or Blue Evolution, but in this case, it's gray because of Star Alliance. And here below, it says Star Alliance. We have the United logo, the registration, which is number 77022. NG Models logo. And on the side, it's textbook NG Models, as you guys know. And of course, on the back of the model, this design gets carried on to the back of... Not model, on the back of the box, uh, this design gets carried on back here. So, um, there isn't really anything special about the North Atlantic and United boxes, but the cargo jet uh, is pretty cool with the gradient. But, uh, yeah... So now let's get the models out of their boxes and then we'll move on to the detail segments for each one according to size. And obviously um, since January NG have been handing uh, collectors their uh, collectors rewards cards. So I'll put that over to the side and here Let's take it carefully out of the foam. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no, that's not good. 
either that's a part of the model okay no no okay yeah this is a part of the model it might look like a paint chip it might look like a paint chip but that's actually just the uh, windows because it is a converted freighter so this is a good model we'll put it over there let's throw this wherever now let's head on to the norse And NG models have actually changed their card this time around with the Norse Atlantic. It is green instead of their normal white color. So yeah, now let's get it out of the box. Taking the Norse out of the foam plate or cardboard, it looks good. There's no paint chips or anything like that. So let's put it over to the side. And now let's get out the last model out of its box, which is the United 777-200. Now, for some reason, uh, these boxes always are really, really tightly packed. Uh, I know that NG wants to ensure that these models don't get broken during shipping, but I kind of do feel like that is a bit overkill. But, uh, yep, taking the United 222 out of the molds, or out of the foam, and everything is looking good on it. But yeah, definitely. One of the first differences that I can notice between NG and Gemini's 222 is that this is a lot heavier than Gemini's. Maybe this is 10 or 20 ounces heavier. So that's something to notice. But let's put it off to the side and now let's get on with the detail segment starting with our little cargo jet. Starting off with the detail segment on this cargo jet 757, we have the cockpit windows. Uh, we have some little yellow circular design uh i'm gonna have to look online and see the actual aircraft in real life because i have no clue what that is we have the l1 door forward landing gear the words www.cargojet.com which is the website of the airline we have this big cargo door we have an antenna and towards the middle of the fuselage we have the livery of the aircraft the big titles which obviously we cargo jet with the little Canadian maple leaf and this little aircraft flying around the letters. Now, obviously, there's no emergency exits because this is a cargo aircraft. And moving towards the back of the aircraft, we actually have an antenna on the bottom of the aircraft. That is a little red antenna, as well as the Canadian flag and the registration of the aircraft, which is Charlie Golf Victor Alpha Julia, which obviously there is no L4 door or L3 door or L2 door or L1 door on the right side of the aircraft because this is a cargo configuration aircraft, like I said before. And running across the entire fuselage, fuselage of this aircraft, we have this little black, white, and red streak going all the way back up towards the tail. And on the tail, it's the same design as on the box with the uh, Canadian maple leaf, these little white lines, which obviously probably most likely mean speed, as well as a globe, which is supposed to represent distribution. And taking a look at the wings of the aircraft, this is a really well done model. You can obviously see the fan blades on the inside of the model, and or not model, on the inside of the engines of the model, and obviously the wings are level, as you guys can see here. And taking a look at the bottom of the aircraft, something that I actually did manage to miss was the fact that there's a second red antenna here. And moving on to the right side of the aircraft, it's the same as the left side, besides the fact that, this is that there's actually cargo hold doors. There's one on the front of the aircraft and one on the back of the aircraft, as well as the other little intricate details. Now, overall, this is a very, very good pickup. Commencing this detail segment for this model, we have the cockpit windows, Starlines logo, L1 door, forward landing gear, the in between the L1 and L2 doors, you have the United logo in gray, as well as a Wi Fi hub slash HUD and an antenna. And going three fourths of the way down the fuselage, we have the words Star Alliance written on the aircraft. Now, on par with its real life counterpart, there is no emergency exits on the wings. And towards the back of the aircraft, we have the L3 door. I believe this is a Navi, but comment down below if you know what it is. And then here we have two antennas, the American flag. The registration of the aircraft, which is number 77022. The L4 door, the registration, or not registration, the serial number of the aircraft, which is over here. I believe that's, it says 0922 or 0022. 
uh, but I'll have to check on that later. And then on the tail of the aircraft, we have the little star line, especially with that's touting, which is just a black background with the silver star lines triangles. And on the right side of the aircraft, obviously the only difference being that you have the cargo doors and the little service door back here. And on the bottom of the aircraft, we have one antenna, and then we have the forward and back landing gear. Now, something that uh, is better on Gemini's mold is that Gemini actually has the uh, tilting landing gear, while NG, for some reason, they do, they do the same thing with the with their AT50 molds, their AT30 molds. For some reason, they just don't have this tilting landing gear. I think it's for uh, it's easier for them to manufacture it, and also uh, it's better quality because obviously it's gonna break less. But um, yeah, and taking a look at the wings and the uh, levelness of the fuselage along with the landing gear, something that Gemini Jets has a problem with on their 777 molds. Uh, the wings are really good, as you guys can see. Even inside the engines, you can see the fan blades. And even on the wingtips, they have this little pointy thing, uh, which is on par with its real life counterpart. And then obviously the wings are level and the landing gear, I hope, is um, accurate length, something that Gemini had a problem with with their 2016 mold of the 777-200 and 300. But uh, yeah, with that, that is all there is to this 777-200 mold from Gemini. Taking a look at the final model in this unboxing, we have the Norse 7879. So starting off at the front of the aircraft, we have the cockpit windows. We have the name of the aircraft, which is Riot, R-A-E-T. Below that, we have the uh, type of aircraft, which is Boeing 787-9, L1 door, forward landing gear. And moving on down the fuselage, we have the titles saying Norse, and then below it, flynorse.com. And then we have the L2 doors, an antenna, the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. And then we have the engines, which are in a really beautiful blue color in my mind. I really do like this shade of blue. And uh, yeah, there's no emergency exit, which is once again on par with its real life counterpart. And then on the wings, for some reason, you have this uh, black and white stripe design. I think this has to do with safety standards, uh, either that or it's just for decoration standards. But comment down below if you know what that is. But moving on down the fuselage, we have the L3 door, two antennas here at the back of the aircraft, and then we have the Norwegian flag, the registration of the aircraft, which is Lima November, Lima November Oscar, the L4 door, and then below it, in the livery part of the tail section, we have the word Dreamliner. And here is a look at uh, the livery that is on the tail of the aircraft. And the only difference between the left and right sides of the aircraft, obviously, is that the right side of the aircraft has the cargo doors, one in front and one in back. I know it's hard to see, but it is there. But NG really did do a good job on this, especially with the colors. The colors really, really, the contrast of the colors and the paint that they use really, I feel, reflects the Norse livery in real life. And then on the bottom of the aircraft, we have one antenna and then that is it besides the landing gear which obviously is really good quality because it's gemini jets and or uh, ng models sorry and then here we have the engines which are really good that have the fan blades inside of them and then the final detail that i'd like to point out is that on the bottom on the wings below the wings we have the registration of the aircraft once again which is lima november lima november oscar and that really is all there is to this norse 787-9 model if you are thinking about going for any of these models, I really do suggest it because these are really, really solid pickups that you could get from NG's releases a few months ago. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to get my videos, and comment down below what you got from NG Models' recent releases. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.